Family Crew. Why are you screaming at the end, though? What's good, guys? Hi, everybody! Welcome to our YouTube channel. From now on, we will be posting all new episodes on our YouTube channel. Yes. We will still be using the Facebook for sure to let you know if there's new videos or keep you updated with different things and pictures. And but tell you when the videos, uh, sorry, the new videos are coming up. Yeah, but all the full length videos are going to be on our YouTube. YouTube. So if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe to the page and subscribe. Don't be scared to leave us a comment. All yes, right? and like too. Like, 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 leave like a videos. comment. All right. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do all do, the good do. stuff. Do, go. do what you're doing on Facebook on YouTube. And if you're a new subscriber on YouTube, then we are the coolest family in the game. Yeah. All right. Okay, and share, 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 share. Share the new page. So on today's episode, we're talking to you about our move. All right. So we were supposed to move on June 30th. Yes. However, we ended up moving July 1st, right? For those who do not know July 1st in Montreal, actually in Quebec, it's like the international moving day. Everybody moves. Yeah. Everybody moves. Uh, the moving company jack up their prices, so they go like $45, $45 an hour to $150 to $300 sometimes. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about what happened during our move. And we have a guest. In the show today, Jeremiah is here. So Jeremiah Gabriel. From time to time, you might hear him say "hello," but it's all good. She's doing all right. He's fine. Yeah. You good? You good? Good. Are you good? Good, bro. You good? Hey, bro. Okay. You, you good? good? He's good. good. Yes, we have to move because you know we have three kids now, and uh, where we were living was. Um, apartment on top of another one so when the kids were, were running the girl the woman was very very nice but as a parent as a human you know that when kids running on top of your head that sometimes you would like to say something but you're not gonna say because say oh they're just kids but sometimes you say oh you know what I just want to tie them and put them somewhere but well so we decided to move. Hey, let me take that man hey guys <laughs> break time bro Hi, Jeremiah! Hi! Hi! What is that? What is all this life? You good? <laughs> Alright. So, for the ones that never saw him before, that's Jeremiah Gabriel, the ultimate fighter. Yeah, and the last of the Mohica. The Shamar. No, Shamar is the name of our dog. Shamar. I was Shamar not talking Shamar. about the name no. of the dog. Alright, but, but I'm just saying. Good. I am just saying. The name of our dog is Shamar, so we don't do that for nothing else but the dog. Alright, so yeah, so we got a bigger place for the kids. The day of the move, alright? So we did business with a company and they were supposed to show up at 8 p.m. Alright, so at 7.45, I'm like, you know what? Let me give him a call. They didn't pick up. And that's okay because they might be in the middle of a move, all right? So at 8 o'clock, I called them. Still didn't pick up. So I was like, you know what? Most likely, they're still doing the move. 8.15 and 8.30, still they didn't pick up. And my spider senses were tingling. I was like, oh, my spider sense is tingling. I'm being watched. All right, so still, okay, they were an hour late, but no signs, nothing. I'm wondering what was happening. So finally, I got a call saying that their truck broke down and it would be there by 11. Now my question was, if your truck just broke down, where are you going to get a mechanic to repair it for you to be on time by 11? And why you didn't call to let us know? Yeah. You know you're moving people and there's other people waiting for these people to move to move, right? So, yeah. so you didn't call. Yeah, and so you didn't call. At least first thing, you know something is not working, you call. Okay, we, we understand. Things happen, right? We're human, we're not perfect. Call, just give a call. You wanna say call? Call. Right. So, I called another company, all right? And they said they were going to be there by 12. So I was like, you know what? It's better than nothing, all right? Because yeah. we need to move. We need to move. So 12, they still didn't show up. 
texted me telling me they're going to be late. They're going to be there at 12.45, 1 p.m., 1 a.m. I'm like, you know what? Fine, we need to move. Then at 1, p 1 a.m., they still didn't show up. So they were telling me they're going to be on their way. They should be there at 2. At 2 a.m., still, they weren't there. Still waiting for them. All right, guys. It is actually 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. And waiting for the movers to come through. This is the final time, final episode, where you're going to see this place. Maybe, unless we use some old footage. So, it's been a crazy day, quite frankly. Didn't expect it to go that way. But, uh, thankful that it's going to be over. Now it's just a matter of time of waiting for the movers to come through. To get everything out of there. I'm going to do a move at 3 a.m. I'm going to wake up everybody. And then I'll go back and see my little familia at the hotel with a much, 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 much needed shower. So finally they show up at 3 a.m. So actually at 3.07, that's when the first box was picked to start the move. And it was terrible, all right? So the guy was supposed to be there. Actually, listen, they did a great job. Like, I know they were tired. They did like two or three moves during that day, and I totally understand that. And thank you very much for them to, uh, to come. Thank you very much for them that they were kind and nice enough to say, you know what, let's us finish our move and we're gonna come and help you because we were not in their contract at all. Yeah. So then they were finishing and go to bed after, but they came and we are grateful for that. Oh, by the way, for the ones asking, where were Cindy and the kids? Where they were sleeping? They were sleeping on the boxes? No. We planned that while Max was uh, doing the moving with my brother, Uncle Rob, us, the girls, we went to a hotel room. So we stayed there and it was not that cool for me neither. Well, the girls got sick. Lexi got a cough and she had fever. And Tori had fever and she had diarrhea. And I didn't know if it was a flu or food poisoning. And uh, so Lexi fell asleep early enough. She was doing fever like, I'm pretty sure like to 39 degrees and to me as well thank god jay was sleeping very tired because you know he works very hard very very hard all the time yeah all the time so he was very deep in his sleep but the girls were like mm -mm. and tori woke up four times oh well yeah she woke up four times and i don't want to go through, through details but i'm pretty sure as a parent you know for some people as a parent you can understand what i mean four times means at the end it was no more holding in the pull-up because she she's not in diaper anymore she's wearing pull-ups and it was very messy so i didn't sleep at all i was very tired and at the same time between everything i was calling max to know uh what's happening are they coming are you did it did you start yet what's happening but what is important now is that we are settled yes we are good now yes. everything is cool and fun yes. we are taking back all the episodes so now we're going to be full-fledged ready to discuss with you week in and week out and it, we just wanted to start it off by sharing with you uh, the big catastrophe of a movie that we had It was nice to be united with the, our family, my brother-in-law that is in Toronto. We did that beach, uh, family beach with uh, uh, on that day because he was coming in Montreal. So it was very nice to have him, uh, seeing uh, all our family. It was very nice. So we have a few clips and pic. No. <laughs> Yo, guys. Like, don't you find that when Cindy talks, it's like she's singing? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, um, <laughs> so, give me uh, <laughs> a song. <laughs> a song. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now I'm gonna be so confused when I'm gonna talk because I'm gonna try to see if I really sing what yeah, I Yeah, you, you really sing it. I'm like, seriously, you really sing it. Anyway. Okay. 
Well, so. <laughs> well, so. <laughs> okay, I'll stop myself. Okay. Great. We're gonna show you a few pictures and a few moments at the beach. All right, y'all. So now that we have everything ready, I had to go back and get some burgers. Uh, before we start any road trip, what is the first thing that any Canadians that respect themselves do, huh? What do you think? A, cu a couple of seconds for you to think about it. That's it. We go to Tim Hortons. Yeah, because uh, if we drive more than 30 minutes, we have to stop at Tim Hortons because that's law. Now, Cindy's going to burn the yellow light. There you go. You saw that? You saw that? There you go. I'm a good abiding citizen, so I stop. I'll catch her later. All right, we're almost there. Almost. And there's baby and baby girl. Daddy. Yes. Daddy. Hey. Daddy. Wow. Daddy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you back at it now? Hi. <laughs> Where's my big brother over here? Your baby brother. No, my big brother. Walking around, thinking he the Mac, you know what I mean? Walking around like, hey, what's good, shouty? What it is? Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi. Why are you re why are you yelling? <laughs> Hello Zeke. Hello. Comment ça va? Bien. Hi. Ouais, super bonne. Woo. When Dada is doing all the job. Uh. Good job. Right. Good. Huh? Good? Yeah, we're good, man. Fire started. The guys are waiting. The ladies are talking. The kids are chilling. And it's a good day. So let's get it popping. Cindy croit qu'il y a une bibite qui tombe dans sa chevelure. Est-ce que vraiment il y a une bibite? Oh, 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 oh. Est-ce que vraiment? Oh, oh. Est-ce que vraiment? Est-ce que vraiment il y a quelque chose? C'est toi qui as fait quelque chose dans la tête? J'ai rien fait. Moi j'ai les deux mains pleines avec une brochette. Puis là c'est la, la, la caméra HD. Okay, let me open it for you. <laughs> Ask for help, baby. Come, let me help you. Can do it. Wait, wait, wait. She did it. Thank you very much for listening to us again. Family cruise always on Tuesday, 12 p.m. But don't forget, this time it's gonna be on YouTube, not on Facebook. All right, so that's it for this week's episode. So subscribe, and you can also follow us on Instagram. Peace. Say bye, Jeremiah. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. You know the scene with Will Smith when they leaves the empty living room at the end of the season. That's it. This chapter of Family Cruise is over. We're gone, we're gone, we're gone. Peace.